Okay, so get this. Some YouTubers are saying mm -hmm. you can rake in like $11,175 a day. Wow. Just from Google searches. Really? Yeah, I know it sounds kind of crazy, right? Like one of those too good to be true yeah. internet schemes. Definitely. But you've sent us a ton of videos about this, so yeah. we figured why not? Let's deep dive into it and see if there's any actual yeah, yeah, yeah. substance yeah. to these money-making blueprints. What's interesting to me is the different ways people are going about it. Yeah. Some are all about affiliate marketing, while others are using Google to find businesses right. who need help getting online, you know? Yeah, it's like two sides of the same Google coin. Exactly. So for our listeners who are like, Ready to make some money. Yeah. Where should we start unpacking all of this? Well, there's a lot of buzz around Timu right now. Timu. Yeah. It's an online marketplace, and it seems to be the favorite for affiliate marketing. Interesting. Some YouTubers are even claiming you can make, get this, up to $100,000 a month. Month? Yeah, a month. Through their <laughs> affiliate program. Through their affiliate program. That's right. Okay. So that's, uh, that's a lot of money. It is. It is. Even if we... You know, yeah. tone down the hype a bit. How does this whole Timu strategy work? Right. Is it just spamming links everywhere? And not exactly. The key here is organic traffic from Google. Okay. Which basically means people are finding your content naturally right. through searches. Gotcha. One creator really emphasized that this is what makes it work long term. Yeah. You're not chasing trends. You're giving people answers they're looking for. So you become like the go-to source for, say, mm -hmm. best noise-canceling headphones under $100. Yeah, exactly. Whatever your niche is. Right, right. And here's where things get interesting. They're suggesting ChatGPT to make this content. Ah, the AI angle. Everyone's talking about AI these days. I know, right? How does it actually make us money, though? Think of it like a super efficient content writer. You give ChatGPT prompts. And it spits out articles tailored to your niche. It even optimizes the titles wow. to rank higher in Google searches. So that's SEO, right? That's SEO, search engine optimization. Okay, so instead of spending hours writing blog posts, mm -hmm. you can use AI to do the work. Exactly. But where does Timu actually fit into all of this? That's where the affiliate part comes in. You put your Timu affiliate links in the articles. Gotcha. People click, buy something, and you get a commission. And one YouTuber even shared specific chat GPT prompts. I saw it. To use for different niches. Yeah. It's like foolproof, even if you're a total beginner. Right. But it can't be just writing and then hoping for the best. Oh, you need people to see it. Right. They suggested sharing on SlideShare and Medium to reach more people. Smart. Cast a wider net. Exactly. See what sticks. But for the long game, they all said, build your own website. Okay, so it's like having your own shop instead of relying on someone else's platform. That's a great way to put it. And speaking of websites, everyone seems to love Hostinger. Yeah, they're pretty popular. Apparently they have really affordable plans and AI tools to build your site. I've heard that too. And free domain registration, that's awesome. Yeah, you can basically start this whole Timu thing without spending much. That's pretty amazing how accessible everything is these days. It really is. But let's switch gears a bit. What about making money by helping local businesses? Yeah, that's the other side of this coin. Right, finding the ones who need help online. Mm -hmm. One YouTuber's teenage daughter even started her own little business doing this. I saw that video. It was pretty impressive. It's so cool. She's making money and getting real-world experience. It shows how accessible this is, even for someone just starting out. She was finding businesses without Facebook pages, which I'm surprised is still a thing. I know, right? So is she, like, walking around with a PowerPoint, knocking on doors? Not quite. She used Google Maps to find contact info. Oh, smart. And sent emails offering to set up their Facebook pages for a fee. That's brilliant. So simple. And she even used Canva to make graphics for them. Wow. She's like a one-woman marketing agency. Seriously. But how do you find these businesses that aren't online? Is it just endless scrolling? There's actually a tool for that. Oh. It's called D7 Lead Finder. It's like a digital detective. A digital detective? Yeah. It finds businesses without Facebook, Instagram, even a website. So you don't have to waste time searching manually. Exactly. It can save you a ton of time. Okay, so imagine you're strolling downtown, D7 lead finder in hand, mm -hmm. like a digital gold prospector, finding all these businesses. I love that analogy. And then you swoop in and offer to help them get online. It's a win-win. They get more customers, you get paid. Exactly. But no matter what approach you choose, everyone says having a website is key. It really is. It's your home base online. Your 24-7 sales machine. Right. And that's where Hostinger comes in again. Yeah, they make it so easy to get started. Affordable, easy to use, even free domain registration. It's pretty amazing. But hold on, before we go too deep into websites, mm. 
We haven't even mentioned that affiliate guide you were talking about. Oh, yeah. For anyone interested in affiliate marketing, right. you have to check out BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Okay. He has a free guide called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Wow. It's over 12,300 words of pure gold. Just put in your name and email and you're good to go. Awesome. The link's in his YouTube bio, right? That's right. Okay. That sounds like a must read. <laughs> Definitely. But for our listeners who are soaking all of this in, yeah. which approach is speaking to you more? That's a good question. Do you see yourself writing blog posts, becoming the Timu king or queen? Uh, or do you picture yourself helping local businesses get online? Both are great options. It's fascinating to me how both involve AI, even if it's behind the scenes. Yeah, AI is everywhere these days. Timu uses AI to create content. The local business approach could use it for design or outreach. Right, it's just a reminder that AI is changing how we do business. For sure, but let's pause here for a second. Yeah. Let everyone absorb all this info before we dive into part two. Sounds good. We'll be back soon. Looking forward to it. So we've looked at making money with Timu and helping local businesses. Right. Two very different approaches. But there's another way to use Google search to make money. Oh. Tell me more. This one's all about finding leads for online businesses. Okay, so not like brick and mortar stores, but businesses that are already online. Exactly. Think e-commerce, online courses, digital marketing agencies, that sort of thing. Gotcha. So they already have a presence, but they might need help with certain things. Right. And you can use Google to find businesses that are a perfect fit for your skills. So instead of just throwing things out there and seeing what sticks, mm -hmm. you can target businesses that are actually looking for what you offer. Exactly. It's a much more focused approach. Okay. I like that. More strategic. Let's say you're a web designer who specializes in e-commerce sites. Instead of waiting for clients, you could search for online stores with bad websites. So you're like a digital detective using Google to find these hidden opportunities. I love that analogy. You're spot on. And you can get really specific with your searches, right? Absolutely. You could search for things like Shopify stores need redesign. Or e-commerce websites with slow loading times. Exactly. You're basically looking for businesses that are already signaling a need. That's so smart. You're not interrupting them with a random pitch. You're offering a solution to a problem they've already identified. Which makes them way more likely to be interested. Exactly. It's all about providing value and being helpful. Okay, so I'm on board with the concept. It's good. But how do you actually reach out to these businesses once you've found them? Well, remember those YouTube videos we talked about earlier? About lead scrapers. Yes, those can be used to find contact information for online businesses too. So you don't have to spend hours digging through websites for email addresses. Exactly. Lead scrapers can automate that process and save you a ton of time. But we have to remember to use them ethically, right? Absolutely. Always respect privacy policies in terms of service. Of course. But let's get back to the Google search part of this. Okay. What are some other ways to refine our searches and find the best leads? One YouTuber recommended using search operators. Search operators? What are those? They're special characters or keywords that make your searches more specific. Oh, interesting. So it's like a secret code to unlock better results. Exactly. You can get super granular with your searches. Can you give us some examples? Sure. Let's say you're a graphic designer specializing in logos for tech startups. Okay. You could use the search operator site to only search specific websites. So instead of searching the entire internet, you're focusing on relevant sites. Right, like if you wanted to find startups using Wix, you could search site.wix.com. Tech startups need logo design. Wow, that's so specific. You're telling Google exactly what you want to see. I bet there are tons of other search operators out there. Oh yeah, there are a bunch. Another useful one is Intitle. What does that one do? It helps you find keywords that appear in the title of a web page. So if I'm looking for business is hiring social media managers, I can search in title dot hire social media manager. Exactly. You can even combine multiple operators for even more targeted searches. It's like having a Google superpower. It really is. Once you learn these operators, it's a game changer. Okay. So we found these leads. We've reached out to them with personalized pitches. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Well, the goal is to turn those leads into paying clients. So you're acting as a consultant helping these businesses achieve their goals. Exactly. You're providing your expertise and services. It's similar to helping local businesses, but you're focused on the online world. Right. But the principles are the same. Building trust and credibility is key. So having a professional website, showcasing your work, getting testimonials, that's all important. It shows potential clients that you're the real deal, that you can deliver results. And for those who need help building their website, 
Hostinger is a great option. They make it so easy and affordable, it's perfect for attracting clients. But let's not forget about that affiliate guide we mentioned. Right, Brian Garvin's 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's a must read for anyone who's serious about affiliate marketing. Definitely, you can find the link in his YouTube bio, BrianGarvin.com, Brian with an I. Okay, so back to the strategy of finding leads for online businesses. Yeah. One thing I'm thinking about is how important the quality of your outreach is. What do you mean? Well, imagine you're a business owner. You get an email from someone offering their services. Right. What would make you want to work with that person? I'd want to see that they understand my business, my challenges, my goals. Exactly. So it's not about sending out generic email. No, it's about personalization, showing them you can solve their specific problems. You're not just a salesperson. You're a valuable partner. That's the key, building those long-term relationships. And that brings us back to AI. How can we use AI to enhance this whole process? Imagine a tool that could analyze websites and tell you exactly what needs improvement. Like outdated designs, slow loading times, stuff like that. Exactly. You could then use that information to tailor your pitch. That would be so powerful. AI could also personalize your emails, analyze competitors, even create marketing content for you. It's mind-blowing what AI can do these days. It's changing the game for entrepreneurs. But with all this AI talk, we can't forget about the human touch. Of course not. Building relationships and understanding your client's needs is still crucial. Absolutely. Technology is great, but it's the human connection that matters most. Couldn't agree more. But I'm curious, what about combining these approaches? Interesting. What do you have in mind? Could you use Google search to find online businesses and then offer them affiliate marketing services? You'd be like a one-stop shop for all their online marketing needs. A digital marketing superhero. Ah, I like that. You could help them with their website, their social media, even manage their affiliate campaigns. It's a great idea. You'd be providing a ton of value. But no matter what, having your own website is still the foundation. It's your online home base, your digital storefront. And hosting here makes it so easy to get started. They really do. But before we wrap up this part of our deep dive, yeah. let's take a moment to reflect on everything we've learned. Sounds good. We've explored three ways to make money using Google Search. Affiliate marketing, local services, and now finding leads for online businesses. And each path has its own unique strategies and tools. But they all share one thing in common, using Google search to find opportunities. It's all about connecting with potential customers and providing value. But as we move into the final part of our deep dive, I want to leave our listeners with a question. Okay, I'm intrigued. We've been focusing on making money online, but could these strategies work offline too? That's a great question. Could we bring digital marketing to the brick and mortar world? I can't wait to explore that in part three. I mean, neither. But for now, let's give everyone a moment to ponder that question. It's a big one. We'll be back soon to dive into those offline possibilities. Looking forward to it. Okay, so we're back for the final part of our Google money making adventure. It's been quite a journey. It has. We've talked about affiliate marketing, digital services, mm -hmm. even using AI to find leads. Right. We've covered a lot of ground. But before we wrap things up, we have one more question to tackle. The big one. We've been focusing on the online world. Right. All things digital. But what about those businesses that exist in the real world? You know? The brick and mortar stores, the local shops. Exactly. Can these Google search strategies help them too? It's an interesting question. Can we bring digital marketing to the offline world? It's like bridging two different worlds. Yeah, taking what we've learned online and applying it to those businesses we see every day. And it's not as crazy as it sounds. No, not at all. Remember how we talked about finding businesses with a weak online presence? Right, using Google search to find those hidden gems. That works for offline businesses too. Absolutely, it's just a slightly different approach. So instead of looking for e-commerce stores, with bad websites. Mm -hmm. We're now looking for that cute little bookstore down the street with no website at all. Or the family-run pizza place that hasn't figured out Facebook yet. Exactly, and there's so many businesses like that. It's a huge opportunity. They're missing out on a whole world of customers. Just because they haven't embraced the digital world. And that's where our listeners come in. Right, armed with their Google search skills. Ready to help these businesses get online and grow. It's all about showing them the power of digital marketing. So imagine, you walk into your favorite local coffee shop mm -hmm. and you say, hey, your coffee is amazing, but nobody can find you online. Let me help you build a website, get you on social media, and watch your business take off. Exactly. It's about understanding their needs. 
and tailoring your approach to their specific situation. No cookie cutter solutions here. Ugh. You're not just a digital marketer, you're a trusted advisor. A partner in their success. And remember those Google Maps skills we talked about? Finding potential clients by just looking around. That's even more effective for offline businesses. You could walk down Main Street, Google Maps in hand. And instantly see which businesses need your help. It's like a digital marketing scavenger hunt. You're not searching for treasure, you're finding opportunities. And don't forget about those tools for finding contact information. The Lead Scrapers and D7 Leads Finder. Those work for offline businesses too. They can save you so much time and effort. Okay, so we found these businesses that need help. We've reached out to them, built a relationship. What specific services can we offer them? A lot of the same things we talked about for online businesses. Website design, social media, all that. But with a slightly different focus. Okay, so tell me more. A website is still essential, even for businesses that rely on foot traffic. It's their online storefront their digital face to the world. Right, it shows people who they are and what they offer. It's also a great place to showcase customer reviews. And highlight what makes them unique. And social media is crucial too, especially for local businesses. Platforms like Instagram and Facebook are perfect for connecting with local customers. Sharing behind the scenes content, announcing special events. Building a community around their brand. And let's not forget about local SEO. Making sure they show up when people search for businesses in their area. That's so important, especially for businesses that rely on local customers. Absolutely. Optimizing their Google My Business profile, getting listed in directories. Encouraging happy customers to leave reviews. All of that helps them attract more local business. And this is where AI can really make a difference. Imagine using AI to find the best keywords for local SEO. Or to craft engaging social media posts. You could even create targeted ad campaigns with AI. The possibilities are endless. AI can help these businesses navigate the digital world. But we always have to use it ethically and responsibly. Putting the client's needs first. So we've covered websites, social media, local SEO. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the power of AI. Are there any other digital strategies that could be helpful? One that often gets overlooked is online reputation management. Oh yeah, that's important, especially these days. It's all about making sure the business has a positive presence online because online reviews can make or break a business. Exactly. People rely heavily on reviews before they try a new place. So responding to reviews, addressing negative feedback, encouraging happy customers to share their experiences. All of that helps build a strong online reputation. And it's something you can do entirely online. Making it a great service to offer offline businesses. Right, you're helping them manage their digital image. What about email marketing? Is that still relevant? It might seem old school, but it's still very effective. Especially for building customer loyalty. You can help businesses create email lists, send out newsletters. Announce special offers or upcoming events. And with AI, you can personalize those emails and automate the whole process. Wow, it's amazing how we started by talking about online businesses. And now we've come full circle, applying these strategies to the offline world. It shows that the same principles apply no matter what type of business you're helping. It's all about understanding your audience, providing value, building trust. And using technology to achieve your goals. Well said, it's a powerful combination. But before we say goodbye. Yeah. I wanna remind everyone about Brian Garvin's free affiliate guide. Oh yes, that's a must read for anyone interested in affiliate marketing. It's called, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, over 12,300 words of pure gold. You can find the link in his YouTube bio, BrianGarvin.com, Brian with an I. So if you're ready to master affiliate marketing, definitely check that out. It's a fantastic resource. And that wraps up our deep dive into the world of making money using Google search. We've explored so many different strategies and possibilities. From affiliate marketing to providing services to local and online businesses, and even how to apply those strategies to the offline world. It's been an incredible journey. I hope our listeners are feeling inspired and ready to take action. Remember, Google search is a powerful tool. But it's just a tool. The real magic happens when you combine it with creativity, hard work. And a genuine desire to help others succeed. Couldn't said it better myself. So go out there, explore, experiment. See what amazing things you can achieve. Until next time. Happy searching.